this is the last section of our show today and we are going to watch a short video clip about faith the story of david and goliath do you know that story the video is courtesy of a youtube channel kids entertainment we used the video for our better understanding as children how faith works so it is not a caputin tv production enjoy watching we had talked about the importance of faith in the growing in union with god and i talked about the story of abraham and i want to tell you another story about david and Goliath. david and between David and Goliath, yes. who was tall? Goliath. David and Goliath. Goliath was tall. Was tall. Was tall. What happened? What happened? Yes. David killed Goliath. He killed Goliath using what? Using what? Yes, is that? A stone and a sling. David killed Goliath using a stone. using a stone and a, a sling because he had faith that I will make it. Because he had faith that I will make it. So he took a sling and tied a stone on it and he released it and it killed Goliath. So Goliath died. So we are going to watch that video and see how David killed Goliath. Thank you. Long ago, God sent his prophet Samuel to find the future king of the Israelites. Samuel. Go to Jesse's house in Bethlehem. There you will find the new king over all Israel. Hmm, I wonder who that is. My sons, come into the house. There is a guest here to see you. Huh? Oh! oh. David, you stay there and look after the sheep. We're going inside. Jesse, uh, you say you have eight sons? Yes, and they are such fine young men. Here they come. <laughs> oh! No, Samuel. You are thinking too much about what he looks like. You must look inside. You must look at his heart. Hmm. Wait. There are only seven here. Don't you have another son? Yes, but he is the youngest and the smallest. See him off there guarding the sheep? Must look at his heart. What's your name, son? David. God has told me that you will be the new king of Israel someday. God is my friend. 
He helps me save my sheep. Yes. And one day, I hope you save us all. Goodbye, David. Goodbye. And God bless. David, come over here and pray with me as I bless the men of the family for battle. To go fight for the people of Israel. Eliab, Abinadab, Shama. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and bring you safely home from battle. But father! What, son? You didn't bless me! I want to fight for Israel! <coughs> hey, wait everybody! Wait! Don't leave without me! Please! Please let me go, Father. I want to fight for the people of Israel, too. <laughs> What's so funny? I may be small, but I'm brave. Why, just the other day, I saved our whole flock of sheep from a huge, ferocious lion. I hit him with a stone from my sling ah, and knocked him clean out. Now the two great armies met for war in the middle of a vast valley. King Saul led the army of Israelites. But the enemy, the Philistines, had a giant on their side. are nothing but King Saul's little servants. Even if all of you fight me together, you can never beat me! <laughs> so spare yourselves. I dare you choose just one man brave enough to fight. Uh -huh. hmm. Not me. Not me? Uh. Not me either. <laughs> <laughs> Just one man! Every morning and evening for 40 days, Goliath marched to the center of the valley and gave his great battle cry. Ah! Ah! You are nothing but cowards! He said it. He's right. You bet he's right. Oh. David, that was a good shot, son. Did you see that, Father? Maybe now you let me go join the army and fight with King Saul and the Israelites. No, son. I told you before. They won't take you. You're too young to be a soldier. And you've got to get some more meat on those bones of yours. But, Father, I'm strong and I can run like a deer. I said no, David. Now do as I ask and take this food to your brothers. Then hurry home to tell me how they are. Now be careful, son. I pray you will bring good news. Who will fight me today? Whoa, whoa. Is there one man brave enough to fight? Abinadab! Shamo, what are you doing? 
Why are you running away? You'd better run yourself. If you know what's good for you. Yes, little brother. Go home and take care of sheep where it's safe. No, I can't. Someone has to fight Goliath. But who? Everyone here is afraid. I'll fight the giant. I'm not afraid. You? Yes. God is stronger than Goliath. And God will help me. Go tell King Saul. I'm not afraid. I have news for King Saul. What news? <laughs> so, there's this Israelite champion <laughs> who's really a young shepherd boy. <laughs> Says he wants to fight for King Saul and the Israelites. Tell the boy to come here. But sire... Joab, bring the boy here to me. Now. I wonder who he is. He is, I understand, a giant of a man, and I am not. His spear appears to be the size of a small tree, and all I've got is a slingshot. This Philistine is large, but I know who little hero? Looks like he couldn't fight a flea. Make way for the little giant killer. I don't see any giant killer. I don't see anyone. Neither do I. Silence! Make way for this boy. Huh? huh? I said make way for the shepherd boy. The king wants to see him. Your majesty, I am... <laughs> Silence! Let the boy speak. Please, sir, don't be afraid of the giant. With God's help, I'll fight him for you. I'll fight Goliath for you and for all of the people of Israel. But how can a boy like you fight Goliath? You can't match him in size or strength or skill, my boy. Why, you've never even been trained for battle. It's true, your majesty. I am young and small. But God will make me strong. <laughs> if God saves my sheep, God will save me from this giant. Now let me fight the giant for you and the people of Israel. Yes, little David. And may God be with you. Joab, I said dress the boy for battle. Huh? Yes. Yes, your majesty. <laughs> I can hardly pick up your sword, Your Majesty. And your shield is much too heavy for me. But, uh, David... God's help is all the armor I need. Please help me, God. Help me fight Goliath the giant for the people of Israel. Can you hear me, Goliath the giant? I am ready to fight! Think you can fight with sticks and stones? You'll be sorry! You fight me with your sharp sword and heavy spear, Goliath. But I fight you in the name of God.
Goliath. He's dead. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Run! Run for your lives! Look at those cowards run! Yes! Get them! Come back here! Yes, get them in. And the Israelites chased the Philistines away. The boy killed the giant! Goliath is dead! Where is the boy? Joab, bring him here to me. Little brother! It is you! Our brave baby brother David! Bring the boy here to King Saul! Thank you, my son. Thank God, your majesty. And that is how little David beat Goliath the giant with the help of God. This was only one of the many great adventures God had planned for David. David the shepherd boy grew up to become a great king who served God. Throughout David's long and adventurous life, he always remembered the comforting words of God. Great, great, great. What a strong faith in God. Did you see how David killed Goliath? It is because he had strong faith and belief in God that he managed to kill Goliath. Did you see how he did it? So simple, just a stone, and he threw it to Goliath. Oh, and he killed him because of having strong faith in God. That teaches us how to believe and have strong faith in God no matter what challenges or circumstances we are going through. Now we've come to the closure of our show today, but remember to leave a comment for us. Our SMS or call number is 0717-424866. Our Facebook page is Capuchin Television Network, YouTube channel Capuchin TV, our Twitter handle is at Capuchin TV, and not forgetting our website www.capuchintv.co.k that short video clip about you taking care of the environment send it to our whatsapp number 0711388854 and we will come to you now may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen 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 my name is Ziporandiku and till next Saturday you are going to have a great week in school and I'm wishing you peace and goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bye bye.